I'm surrounded by guitar amps worth tens of thousands of dollars, but I found an amp that will rival any one of these, and it only cost me 325 bucks. I'm gonna show you guys how to find one and how well it stacks up against the best of what I've got back here. Make no mistake, this amp is an absolute monster. Now, if you're starting out in guitar, have you ever asked yourself, what amp do I get? There's so many choices out there and countless tube amps that sound incredible. The only problem is they're really, really expensive. If you're in the market for your first amp, it can all seem just a little bit overwhelming. For example, my first tube amp was a Mesa Dual Rectifier, which I bought way back in 2000. And I scrimped and saved every spare penny I could put together to be able to afford it. And back then it cost somewhere around 1500 bucks. These days, a new one will set you back a paltry $2,800. Now, given the fact that in that time, inflation has increased, the cost of living has increased, but wages have not, does this mean that great apps are out of reach for normal people? Well, the one app that I've recommended for years for anybody looking for their first truly amazing amp is of course a used PV5150. Edward Van Halen's signature amp was made by the thousands and used to be super affordable on the used market. I got mine in 2005 for a whopping $600 Canadian. That's only $438 in US funds. And don't be fooled by that cheap price. The 5150 wound up on countless metal classics, including Carcass's Heartwork, Machine Head's Burn My Eyes, In Flames Clayman, and just about everything in the whole modern mental gent, whatever the hell you want to call it these days. Unfortunately, since the passing of Edward Van Halen in 2020, the price of a 5150 on the used market has increased to more than double of what they used to be. And if you're after one of the original block letter models, well, it'd probably help if you're super rich. <laughs> So what's the prospective player to do? Is there anything out there that's affordable and awesome? You bet there is. In 2005, Van Halen left PV and with him, so did the 5150 name. However, PV rebadged their amps to the 6505 without changing the circuitry. And because of that, the same amp can be found on the used market for some extremely reasonable prices. But how do we find one for around $325? Look for the 6505 combo. They pack 60 watts of pure tube power and come with a single 12 inch speaker. Now make no mistake, this will rival the 5150 head that is going for thousands on the used market. But because of one tiny little change to the badge, they are ignored by the slime balls looking to make a fast buck off the Van Halen name. Meaning that you can grab an amazing tube amp for dirt cheap. And I do mean dirt cheap. Here's one for 375, another 475, 450, and yet another for 375. Make sure to look for the one x 12 version and not the two x 12, which for some strange reason is going for a lot more money. However, the sad truth is the Sheffield speaker that the amp ships with is terrible, so we're not going to be using it. Also, please be on the lookout for scammers trying to pass off upgraded versions where they replace the stock vacuum tubes with ones made from the elusive combination of magical fairy dust and unicorn farts. To be clear, the entire tube replacement for your amp business is at best completely dishonest. New tubes are not going to revoice your amp. If the tubes in your amp are working, then they're the best ones for that amp. Make no mistake, new tubes are a very expensive rabbit hole to go down that will offer very little in the way of sonic benefit. But hey, they sure look cool when they glow! In past episodes, I've demoed a number of affordable combo amps on the show, and I haven't had much luck with them, mainly because they all completely suck. So what sets the 6505 combo apart? Simple. Most combos are limited by the terrible speaker that they ship with, and the 6505 combo is no exception. However, this amp has one major difference. You can easily disconnect the speaker and plug in something better, and this makes it function just like any of these amp heads back here, except this head I found for only 325 bucks. So let's hook this up to my Engel 4x12 loaded with some of those brand new vintage 30s, the new generation that Celestion finally got right. <laughs> Thank you. 
talking about this is the 6505 combo just a little bit off camera here and this is what i've got it dialed into now i do have this thing wired into a very good cabinet i've got it wired into an angle 4x12 with a couple of those amazing new 2022 vintage 30s from celestian yes the new ones made in china sound absolutely fucking amazing these days as evidenced by the tone you're hearing and that's the thing even though you get a great amp, it's still gonna be filtered by that speaker. And that's something a lot of us don't take into account because speakers are hidden behind grill cloths. So we really don't think about them all that much. However, I gotta say, yeah, as far as amps go, this thing really does deliver the goods. I mean, I've got no problems with volume. I've got no problems with tone, gain, any of that. It's just great. <laughs> just makes me really happy the the sound of this amp the fact it only cost me 325 us dollars now i know i showed you guys a bunch of screenshots around 375 425 something like that i got lucky on the low end for 325 i know these things are going pretty cheap in europe too as well so if you guys are watching in england germany france all those wonderful countries like that uh, keep your eyes peeled but yeah they definitely delivered the goods now i promise you guys at the beginning of the video i was going to show you how this stacks up against the best I got back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it up against a 5150 original signature series from the mid 90s. And I'm also going to show you how it stacks up against the granddaddy of them all, the Soldano. So I'm going to play the same riff and I'm going to run them back to back here. Check this out. <laughs> Now, don't get me wrong, I am definitely hearing some differences between those three amps. The Signature Series 5150 seems maybe a little bit more mid-rangey, a little bit boxy, and that's what I found myself fighting a lot on a lot of my clients' records in, say, like the mid-2000s was exactly that sort of thing. Uh, the Soldado, on the other hand, is a very nice, almost kind of a scoop mid-range thing going on, even though I cranked the crap out of the mids on that amp. But this guy right here, the 6505 combo, damn, something really cool is going on with this thing. Now, I'm going to take a wild guess out there that a lot of you guys watching right now might not have extra room to, for a, a full-size 4x12 cabinet or something soundproof enough to be able to crank the crap out of it or a jam space or anything like that. I get it. Rent is fucking expensive these days, and nobody's going to fault you for that. So let's try something here. Let's plug the 6505 into a two notes torpedo captor x and i'm going to run it through those free impulse responses i gave back a couple weeks ago and just see how well this would be suited towards desktop record <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So I've got the Torpedo X hooked up and I am not running any kind of cabinet at all. I'm just going straight out of the amp into the Focusrite Red 16 line and it is doing the job very well. This is a sound I would be more than happy to put on a client's record because it really does the thing. <laughs> Yeah! 
That's what I mean. That is so thick. It's got such a glorious attack on it. And once again, I only paid 325 bucks for this amp. So if you're plugging into a cabinet, if you're plugging in directly to record, if you've got something cool like a captor kicking around or any kind of load box, this is definitely going to fit the bill. It all really comes down to a question of having a good impulse response or a speaker to run it through. Now, of course, that can get expensive, but again, with impulses, it can be pretty damn cheap. And I am going to tell you right now, I am running to a very special impulse response loader, uh, something that might be coming up near the end of the month from Spectre Digital that I think you guys are really going to like. Um, we'll have more on that, obviously, the closer we get to the end of the month, if all goes well. For a straight up to, to right to desk recording system, yeah, I think the 6505 Plus really delivers the good. <laughs> So when running this combo against an original signature 5150, I gotta be honest, kind of like the combo a little bit better. It just seems to have a certain savageness to the attack. So there's obviously been some tweaks made to the preamp section, but rather than speculate, I reached out to the amp's original creator, Mr. James Brown. And here's what James had to say. Regarding the original 5150 changes to get the original 5150-212 combo, Ed was unhappy with the feel of the attack when reducing the power to 60 watts. And in the tweaking process, I tightened up the attack by making a couple of small changes so it's chunkier. He immediately got very excited and asked, why didn't you show me that tweak when designing the first amp, the block letter? I said, because once you said it was right, I quit fucking with it. Afterwards, he asked for a head with the same mod and I built one. He used that modded head on the balance record and it ultimately defined the lead tone for all the rest of the amps, including the 5152, EVH 5153s, and the later PV 6505 Plus and the newest 6505 too. However, as far as I know, the 6505 is just like the OG block letter with the looser, thicker attack. When I joined EVH and designed the new 5150 Iconic, I did the burn switch that gives the amp some of that thicker sound of the block letter, although it's a little bit tighter. James, thanks so much for answering my questions and whatever you did, it sure sounds great. I've been extremely impressed impressed with this, not only by using it on its own, but in a recording situation as well. Check this out. Yeah, that really sounds great. Once again, I gotta stress this, we are not using the included Sheffield speaker because the tone is ultimately defined by the speaker. And the one that they included with this amp is an atrocity. So for all you guitar players out there in the market for an awesome amp, but you don't have a lot of money to spend, start by looking for a 6505 combo. Just be aware that you're still going to need a cabinet for it, just like any other amp head. For a budget solution, I'd recommend the Harley Benton 2x12. It comes with a pair of vintage 30s and it only costs 249 bucks. That means you can get a beast of a rig for under 600 bucks. That's gonna be loud enough for the stage, studio, and even loud enough to keep up with your idiot drummer at practice. By the way, guys, the new vintage 30s being made in China are nothing short of incredible. That's what I've been running the guitar through all this time. If you like the tone, be sure to grab my free impulse response. The link is in the description below. And if you want to see a deep dive into the new vintage 30s, you can check out this video right here. And if you found the video useful and you'd like to see more of these videos where I uncover hidden gems and how to get great sounds for budget prices, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. I'm almost at 500,000 subscribers and I need your help to make that happen. Thanks very much and make sure you check out the Vintage 30 video.